Hello everyone, this is Ben from iForm Builder. Today I wanted to create a short video to show you how to use the dynamic email feature. This feature is very important when you have a pick list in an email element and you would like the email element to display a different email address based on the selection in a pick list. So if you go on the right side of my screen here, you will see the form builder and you'll see I have two elements on the form. A choose store element, which is a pick list, as we'll see here in the input type, and it has an option list of three stores assigned to it. Now, where the magic happens is in the email address element below. So I'll select email address, and I have given it the input type of an email, and I have checked the send email box. So whatever email or email addresses are in this box when the record gets submitted, a email of the record will go to the specified email addresses. So we'll ha I have an option list here with a few email domains, and uh, in the smart control section, I'll actually widen this here so it's easier to see. Um, we can we have a dynamic value, um, which is an if else if statement. So if choose store, which is the name of this email element up here in the comment section, choose store. If choose store is equal to zero, which is the first option in this list, it will display this email address. And then else if choose store is equal to one, which is the second option in this list it will display these two email addresses and so on. And at the end I have another else statement that says if none of these conditions are true then it will just display nothing in the email address element so the record does not get emailed anywhere. Um, now let's go over to the form side of things and see this in action. So I'll select dynamic email and I will choose a store so I'll choose store 2 and we'll see the two email addresses get populated into there. I would choose store 3 we would see that the email address has changed. So this is how you use this feature. I uh, hope this video was helpful, and if you like this video, please subscribe to our the iPhone Builder YouTube channel.